In this video, we download non-expiring content from BBC iPlayer with simple search and click. Hello everyone and welcome to TechFix Flicks. In the previous tutorial in this series, we installed Get iPlayer, a utility which allows us to download BBC content from iPlayer, bypassing the usual restrictions which would otherwise only allow us to keep recordings for a maximum of 30 days. In that video, we used the command line, entering typed commands to access content. In this video, we use a graphical user interface, allowing us to search for and download content without the need for typed commands. Assuming you've installed Get iPlayer as shown in our first tutorial, you'll already have all the tools required, and if not, you'll find it linked in the written description accompanying this video. We click the start button and type PVR, clicking to run the Web PVR Manager app. The app runs in the background, triggering the launch of our default web browser in the foreground. It's worth taking a moment to note that should your default browser experience any difficulties when launching, this may block progress here, as the Get iPlayer graphical user interface requires the browser for output. We're using Google Chrome, and we zoom to full screen for the best view of the interface. Note that the most recent program is 5 days old, as this was the last time we ran Get iPlayer. The list clearly isn't up to date, so we need to refresh the cache. We are taken to a new tab, where indexing takes place, with progress indicated by an increasing row of horizontal dots. Once indexing is complete, we can click close to return to the main tab. Although our program list hasn't visibly refreshed, it's now up to date, and we can search for our program. We therefore type Doctor Who, before pressing enter. We are shown a list of all available matches, in this case, every new episode of Doctor Who broadcast within the last 30 days, where the 30 day limit matches the expiry window of content provided through iPlayer. We can select any number of the available episodes, and in this case we select the two most recent. We then click record to begin the downloading process. We now see the list of programs to be downloaded, with the downloading of the first program beginning immediately. Once the first download is complete, we progress automatically to the second, and this would continue with a longer list until it's exhausted. Once both recordings are complete, they are shown under our Recordings tab, with the files available in our Downloads folder. As before, these files are in an unprotected MP4 format, which doesn't expire, as would a typical iPlayer download, and they can be copied to a device of our choosing for playback, and kept as long as we need. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please consider subscribing by clicking the logo on screen now. If you'd like to see more, there are two suggestions currently on screen. If you have a better, faster or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. You're also welcome to follow us on Twitter. Until your next tech fix, goodbye.